we started off by having uh, meetings with the city. Uh, they have a uh, committee, an operations group that specifically focuses on uh, accessibility issues. They offered uh, advice, uh, critiqued uh, the design uh, and made us think not just of a person in a wheelchair but how all of the users would be uh, accessing the facility. For us the big aspect is not just meeting the simple technical requirements which, which are straightforward code requirements but really the issue is making sure that the building is open, it's light filled, it's easy to get around in. Our philosophy was that that would make the building more barrier free. The central lobby area is something we're very proud of in the facility. Uh, it, it is wide and open and very easy to get around in. We do have a ramp situation where we have to uh, transition down to the old facility, but the ramp is just part of the lobby. You just flow right down it. The ramp has to be part of the overall design. It, can't, it doesn't need to look like something that was added or was added specifically for a technical requirement for accessibility. Uh, and we certainly expect all of the patrons of the facility to use the ramp. Certainly the doors have handicap assist uh, buttons to get in and out of it, but uh, tied in with the security system and the door contacts, the staff can know if a door is open or closed, if something is having an issue uh, uh, with it. It's not something we do extra, it's an integral part of how we approach buildings and we want to move beyond just the simple technical needs to really uh, celebrate uh, the building and how it responds to all patrons uh, that want to use the facility.